Does the date January 6th ring a bell? Um, it does not actually. It does not. No. Something happened, something really big. A lot of people won't stop complaining about it. Don't send me your, are you still talking about the insurrection? Yes. And we're gonna continue to talk about it. Um, you never heard about it? I have not. No? Okay. Well, good for you. You're lucky that way. I'm gonna get a headache. I keep hearing about it so much. They are making fun of these remembrances. Right. They are pretending like we are all hysterical. Certain dates echo throughout history, including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them, where they were and what they were doing. Have I not, I don't know. No. Have you heard uh, that date being talked about at all? Not at all. Not at all. December 7th, 1941. September 11th, 2001. And January 6th, 2021. No. Something, I guess, kind of big happened. What's that? I'm going to keep talking about it. We're just seeing if the mainstream media's propaganda is actually having an effect and and um thankfully it's not as effective as they would they would hope i'm gonna keep talking about it stay tuned because there's plenty more to come in this video but real quick subscribe to the channel if you're new here and check back on a regular basis what happened on january 6th i don't know no something something happened the uh, people some people won't stop complaining about it You're just getting people i to, couldn't tell you no. <laughs> And we're just getting people's opinions on... I don't know what January 6th is. There's never been a bigger or more important story in American history than this. This is the most important story in the history of the Republic. These January 6th hearings are remarkable. They are riveting. The hearings last night, they were searing. They were vivid. It was compelling. It was chilling. The videos were chilling. And it was, It. I think it's going to be historic. This was a historic, compelling hearing this is very compelling uh television because it's a very compelling hearing and it's compelling it's must see tv what happened on january 6th <laughs> no idea what 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 happened on january 6th it was a mostly peaceful protest and some people got a little carried away and caused some trouble and you know the fake news won't stop complaining about it or is this like this is in washington dc at the Capitol. Oh, uh, yeah. This is treason. This is treason. This is insurrection. This is rebellion. Period. I don't know. I think a lot of those things are staged. Do uh, you guys know about like false flag events? Oh, yeah. Agent provocateurs. Yeah. yeah. So the FBI has been like caught a lot. Um, basically, like they will infiltrate or they will start something and then get people to join them. In some cases, they was just revealed that like, it was, I think it was like- Gretchen Whitner's 12, alleged kidnapping. Yeah, uh -huh. like 12 yeah, out of 12 out of- here. We got someone who can see. 12 out of the 14 people were FBI agents. There are people out here who have a brain. That's, yeah. They do exist. Yeah. Speaking of noise, I keep hearing noise about January 6th. People won't stop complaining about it. About what? January 6th. What about it? Something happened and it's, People won't stop complaining about it. Have you heard that? No, I haven't. I've been texting with a number of sources. I was texting people live during the hearing. Um, the words that I was hearing from them were stomach churning, riveting, compelling. One senator told me that he had a lump in his throat as he was watching the video. You haven't heard of like the big, it was like a, a huge, you know, event that happened. A horrifying, really scary thing. It made a lot of people cry. Yeah, I guess it hasn't gotten to me. I'm in the no, hurry. Good for you. Okay, yeah. We're talking about January 6th today. Okay. Tell me about it. Well, from what I saw, um, got might have got a little bit rowdy, but all in all, uh, I wouldn't have been scared to be there even if I was on the inside and had a badge on my chest. A lot of people haven't even heard of it. Oh, really? Yeah, we're just testing the effectiveness of mm -hmm. the liberal propaganda mm -hmm. to see, because they're trying to turn it into the new 9-11. 9-11 is nothing compared to January 6th. Watergate is a walk in the park next to the January 6th attack on American democracy. This is the most important and disturbing uh, incident that's ever happened in the 246 years of the American Constitutional Republic. This is so much worse than something like Watergate. What happened on January 6th is so much worse than Watergate. Really? It really is, by a uh, hundred degrees. Orders of magnitude worse 
than Watergate. January 6th. It's a know. huge monumental day in history. People January won't stop 6th, talking about January it. They talk 6th. about it every single day because it was such a big deal. Tell me what happened on that day. Uh, it's, you got to give me some background. I, I mean, I'll let you know. It's a lot of history in my head. It's a lot of history. Give me like a... There was... Uh, it was in Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah. Tell Washington. me about it. Wrong guy. Nobody will stop talking about it. January 6th. What does that mean to you? Absolutely nothing. You want to know why? Yeah. Because it's all a lie. What does the liberal media say happened on January 6th? Well, they're claiming insurrection, but I, I yet to see someone get charged with insurrection. So why are they calling it insurrection? Come on now, sir. People were waving American flags. Well, yeah, I think they're a little upset because, uh, well, the election was and, Can't say uh, that on YouTube. We're gonna have to edit that out when free speech not allowed <laughs> on this platform. I think uh, we're living in a very dangerous time right now, and I think people need to wake the hell up. Yeah, right. I think that is that will be a violation I, of terms of service. Soon, saying that there's a Marxist takeover underway will be a violation of terms of service. But I do agree with you, sir. People won't stop talking about January 6th. Okay. What are your thoughts? It was January 6th. Uh, it was January 6th. It was. Uh, and what do you think about that? What do you think about January 6th? I hate the winter, so I don't know. Think the, the winter? Yeah. Yeah. The winter. Yeah, January, no. January 6th. Yeah, that, that was a day. It's a cold day. Cold. Cold and rainy much, day. Yeah. AC uh, wasn't working. No. Wouldn't help. Any me. other events <laughs> happen, maybe of note, on that day? Not that I can think of. I can't stop hearing about January 6th, so okay. tell me what you think. Well. <clears throat> The president gave a rally and told people to go over and peacefully protest and have their voices heard. Yep. A bunch of people went there. There were some agitators amongst them. And they went into the Capitol. Many of them were shooed in by the Capitol Police. We got someone here who can think. Since that time, the Democrats have been making more of this than they should particularly Nancy Pelosi. She never said one word about all the protests that killed police officers in the nine months prior to that. They cheered it. They had funds built up to let people out of jail. But if you protest in Washington, D.C., then they put you in solitary confinement for six months. It's a disgrace. Someone who should be arrested, however, is Dr. Fauci. And if you agree, order my new Arrest Dr. Fauci shirt from my online store at markdice.com. I like all of my designs. It's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.